back to The Helpful Home. I'm Sunday Dawn, and today we're participating in Joy with Organized with Joy's Minimalism and Declutter Playlist. Is that what it's called, Joy? It's only my third time participating, but I'm happy to do so. And it turns out my first couple of entries are going to be photos. Probably a lot of them are going to be photos because I am on a journey, believe it or not. <laughs> I know. I know. I keep a lot of photos and photo albums, but I am on a big journey to declutter and minimize them my way, which is not to say that I'm going to be minimal. It's to say I'm going to try to condense them all down to just one cohesive place organized by year. So what I have decluttered today is, I don't know, maybe like five or 600 photos from a trip to Hawaii in 2008. I'm aware it's 2024, but I am going back now that all my yearly albums for my family are done and I'm taking our old vacation albums. You know, back in the day when we used a real camera? Yeah, I used like a real Canon on this trip. These are actual print photos, not digital. And I printed them all and I made a giant beautiful album and I just don't wanna house those alongside my yearly albums. So I have condensed this giant 2008 album from Hawaii into, I think it might have ended up being a 10 day spread. I'll show you, but I'm fairly impressed with myself. This has been on my to-do list for quite some time. And my declutter pile this week, Joy, is massive. Would you like to see? So we have essentially gone from, again, two albums, this album, which is my yearly album, and then this massive vacation album into just a spread. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then there's a couple short guys in there. So under 10 pages out of that whole massive album. And so this is page one, and this is just a few beauty shots of the vacation that I took where I just kind of roamed around and enjoyed shooting the beautiful island. And I went ahead and did some black and whites. Again, black and white film. Back in the day, we had black and white film rolls. People, I know I'm showing my age, but now we get into kind of the fun family photos. So I took my mother-in-law on this trip, so that's hubby's mom. And again, my daughters are both married with children. So this is, oh my word, how long ago would this be? 2008, so this is 16 years ago, is that right? Wow, 16 years ago. So we have a fun day with mother-in-law, Oh, this is kind of sad because it's fun in the streets of Lahaina, which is like mostly gone now, as we all know, that burned to the ground. Um, I read the other day that the banyan tree only had, I mean, it looked gone if you saw footage of that, but it only had 20% damage. I can't remember if that number is correct, but it is still going to make it. Like it's going to be a long time till it looks like it looked, but it's going to make it. And I do, these are traditional Project Life pages. I do, I have done most of my albums in traditional Project Life, but since she has the app now, I do them in the app. So I no longer use the cards and the pocket pages like this to do my yearly albums. I do them all in the app. She sends them to me. And then I put them in just like a 12 by 12 sleeve and slide them in. But she still does have the kits and places for journaling. I have not yet journaled in here. I reserve the right to do so if I choose. And I'll just slide these out for a journal card. In the, in the meantime, these are sort of placeholders. And what I like about them is they keep pages cohesive. So I didn't want any of this day in Lahaina mixed in with our luau. I just wanted a luau page. So those placeholders allow all my photos to go the right direction so you're not having to turn your album and take a peek at them. They're just, they're all the correct direction for your eye. And then I chose the Jade Edition Core Kit. Again, if you're not a Project Lifer, no big deal. If you are, um, then for your information, I use the Jade Edition Core Kit. And it just means that all the cards are cohesive and go together. So you just pick some appropriate ones color-wise and or, you know, wording-wise. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. I mean, I went ahead and put in more than I even planned. I did a nice splattering of the vacation here. Tried to keep it somewhat cohesive. So like, here's a day with grandma. Here's a day at our hotel. More photos at our hotel beach. Family photos from the trip. Our parasailing day. And I think that's just about it. Some scuba snorkeling rather 
boogie boarding, and just fun things with the kids. And see, I just popped this in at the end of the album and I condensed all of that 500 page album to that much. And it is plenty, as you can see, plenty to get to have an overview of the lovely vacation. Oh, I even used a pocket page and my daughter was required to do for her schoolwork for the trip. She had to keep a journal and she kept an adorable journal where she titled it sort of like friends, the day where for each day. And there is some pretty hilarious stories in here. So I popped them in here. So I have her journal from the trip. I have a five by seven of my two favorite beauty shops. You'll probably recognize these from my master bath. And then I do think I'm going to, that's one of my favorite pictures of Madeline ever. I'm going to blow this one up into a five by seven. So that will go there. And then we're done. Been putting that off for like a decade. And that leaves that pile of 500 plus photos and that album for my decluttering and minimalism entry. How you like them apples, Joy? Tell me you're proud. Oh, another thing that I'm gonna include, this is mostly a pile of trash. But I'm going to include this in my declutter pile. I'm going to include this because this is stickers that came with a Disney core kit that I bought for our Disney World trip. And like part of me for a second thought I might be this girl. And I very quickly realized I am not this girl. I'm literally not a scrapbooker. I don't like any cutting or doodling on my photos. The photos are you know, precious to me. I don't want to do anything to them. So um, this has sat in here forever. And because I paid good money, you know how that goes, that old chestnut, I kept it forever. But it is now going to go in my declutter pile for this month's minimalism and declutter challenge. Got a little pile of trash, big pile of declutter, and a completed album. I guess I guess a completed album and a torn apart album. All right, there we go, ladies. Uh, this is an open playlist collaboration, so please contact Joy if you would like to participate and please go to the playlist and watch all the other ladies. There is a ton of content on there to inspire you on your decluttering journey. Oh, do you hear that timer? It's time for me to go have steak. <laughs> and maybe wine. Happy Memorial Day.